Last time on Long Distance Dungeon and Dragons Dinner Theater. Aristophanes met his long lost father, gained a new religion, and trained to be an assassin. After his father died, he was sent on a mission to reunite with his friends and carry out a bounty as cover for an assassination. Our heroes in the Hen Temple rested and then breached the final chamber to face off against the Great Mummy. We join them mid battle as Long Distance Dungeon and Dragons Dinner Theater continues. I'm going to Evil. Okay. You do Is not. Evil? No. Okay, just making sure. Uh, <laughs> it's a very good mummy. Aw, she was not. I'm sure it's my fucking father or something along those lines. So, you wanna, so, you wanna do, you wanna do perception check? Yeah, I thought this is what it was coming to, Brian. Recognize this mummy? Natural nineteen, and that's like uh, my perception. Plus, plus two, so twenty-one. Yeah, it's your dad. Here, what's his first name? I forget. Kalnar. Yeah, here lies Kalnar Tritherian. Yeah. It says on the wall. So yeah, no, this I, is this is for lack of for lack of better terms, your dad. He didn't raise you, but he did uh, pretty much discover the island of Kalnar. He found the people in the jungle and like civilized them, mostly through rape and torture. But he civilized all the jungle people. Uh, and force them to live in towns. Yeah. He did he did rape your mom and that's where Ramses came from. Ramses is a child of rape. Oh, that's a nice story. Yeah. That was I wrote that my backstory. Yeah, I didn't write that. I didn't make that up. Ramses made that up for himself. That's his backstory that he wrote. But yeah, this is his dad. This is the guy this is the guy that did the rape. I did, I liked it. I'm using it. I'm using it. Well, this is your daddy. Are we still killing the mummy now that we know? Yeah, I mean, Rand is just mom. Yeah, he's one. Oh, okay, he's one of revenge yeah. on this on this guy for since he was a kid. So now he finally gets it in mummy form. Yeah. So, uh, how far away am I from here? You're within twenty feet. You're in a small. It's a very okay. small room. So I will uh, attack him with my long sword. Uh, move up and attack him with my right. long sword. You charge and attack the mummy with your long sword. Yes. And, uh, I am going to extend one of my mythic points. No, I'll save that for the game control, potentially. Uh, so I'm going to attack it with my longsword. This has weapon focus on it, so that's going to add plus one to my BAB. And then I have a plus two to my modifier from full strength. A 23 on the first attack. All right, I get a reflex save, uh, which I make, so I'll take half damage on the first one. Okay. And second attack roll. Uh, uh, that's going to be a 19. This. So that's a miss. So, all right. Um... I'm not going to expend my mythic points since it's only half damage. Uh, I will uh, just do the normal attack rolls. So this is going to be two attacks from Vital Strike. That's going to be six. That's your strength. So, no, I have these two and then my strength. Uh, that's 13 plus 6. So 19. So 8. 8 damage. Okay. And now I'm going to back away with my shield up. Alright. <laughs> if you back away, I get an attack of opportunity, but you can shield up if you want. Well, I'll just shield up right there. It's, I'm not going right. to back away. So. And then Juan, last but not least. <laughs> the gust of wind will blow his fucking rags off and he'll just disintegrate into the ground. It will put out the fire. Don't gust of wind. We're a fan of flames. Yes. <laughs> I do blow on him as I'm standing close. I blow oxygen on him. Like, ah, 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 ah. like trying to stuck the coals. Okay, so... Um, I've got produced flame, so I can make a fire in my hand and then throw it. Okay. And it's 1d6 plus 1. Okay. No, no. 1d6 plus 
because it's one point click past your level. Yep. Do I get a reflex save or anything to dodge it? What? Do I get a reflex save or anything to jump out of the way? Saving through none. All right, we'll do it. Well, that means uh, that seems like an attack, and you have to roll the attack to see if it hits. Since you're throwing it, so roll versus AC. Do I have to something. roll even though it's a spell? Yeah, because you're throwing it from your hand. Like, the casting the spell was making the fire in your hand. Throwing it is the attack. So to make sure that it hits, you have to roll to hit. I don't get a saving throw, so if the attack hits, it hits, but... You still have to roll to beat his AC. With it. 16? Plus what? Plus, uh, B-A-B. Um, 4, so 20. Okay. That's a miss. Plus, dexterity, maybe? What's your dex bonus? One. Oh, yeah, so it's still not enough. So the, the fire lands near his the fire lands near his feet. You toss it, it lands nearby, but doesn't hit him. That was amazing. Yeah. Sorry. I did. What's that? Genevieve gets to go. Oh yeah, yeah, Genevieve. I forget. You always keep her packed up. Yeah, you you unleash Genevieve upon the world. You take the bird out of her papoose. Bjorn, I'm sorry. You take the bird out of the bird Bjorn. I forgot we branded it. So, um, so the, how is the mummy wrapped up? Is it in like a continuous like toilet roll bandage kind of thing? You can only a perception check. Because <laughs> Genevieve wants to grab onto some of that and try and like unravel this mummy around his head, maybe. Uh, 16. So, 22. Um,. Yeah, it's hard to tell if it's one long piece because a lot of it's tucked in and stuff, but a lot of it appears to be connected. So you sure if you, it's like a sweater, if you pulled one thread, you'd probably at least unravel some of it. Okay, well, gonna get shot. All right, I'll make that a C and B. So roll versus the mummy C and D to unravel. That'd be like a trip move. Or... Does the bird have that? Uh, if not, I can tell you what it would be. Would you yeah, like to know that? <laughs> so your C and B it would be the bird's B A B. Plus the bird strength mod, plus the bird size mod, which is minus one for small. Okay, so two. And then uh, plus a d20. You roll. So two plus a 20? Yep. <laughs> I got a three. I just rolled a three. Yeah, so the bird misses. <laughs> of course she does. Damn it. It wasn't a one, though, was it? <laughs> what has that bird done? <laughs> okay, it was a natural one. Total of five. All right, well then, yeah. Stop, it, it flies by, but is unable. It's maybe afraid of the flames because the mummy is on fire, so maybe it just didn't couldn't get close enough without burning itself to grab anything. Yeah, that's true. She's just being smart. Yeah. Plate. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's back to Pleek after that. Uh, if the bird's done. Yeah. What you got, Pleek? All right. Uh, I'm gonna cast Wall of Fire in a five foot ring around him up to the ceiling. Ah. Uh, it deals 2d4 of heat damage to him, and if he tries to leave it, it deals 2d6 plus 5 damage. D4s. I got my fear, I got my fear. Three. Three damage, but if he tries to escape this ring of fire, crap mm. will happen to him. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, I'll uh, climb onto the ceiling for fun. Alright, you ride Harry up to the ceiling. Just All like right. hang out upside down for this round. Alright. Leek and Harry are upside down on the ceiling. Wall of fire around the mummy. Uh, who was number two before the mummy went? Uh, Jacques. Jacques? Yeah, I'm gonna... I have oil. Can I douse an arrow in oil and shoot it through the fire? Oh, daddy, so it goes through the fire and catches... Yeah, sure. Lights. I'll allow you to use some of your oil to douse your arrow. Then launch it, dude. Roll it. Roll plus BAB and all that junk. To hit. That sounded sexy. That sounds yeah. sexy as hell. Douse it in oil, dude. Rub it down. Oh, like, you said, oh, you want to smoke her douse my arrow in oil? Need to lube my shaft. Uh, 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 I got 21. 21? Oh, I just said my wall does double damage on the creatures. Okay, so six. Yay. Dead. I'm gonna move away. I'm gonna move now. Alright, you move. Yeah, those two. Here, Cersei's. And away from the fire? So you don't also yeah, get burned by it? Fire. 
I'll assume yeah, everyone that was near the fire range never plead cost cast it already got out of the way, so I'm a really nice DM. A real a yeah. really mean DM would just make all you guys get burnt for being near the mummy when it happened, but I'm really nice. I'll assume you guys were smart and jump out of the way. I mean some of you guys went some of you guys went and attacked it with swords. Yeah, Ramses is up there, he hit it with a sword. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone that was up there close to it was, I forgot that. But I'm be, I'm a nice DM and assume that he was far enough away that nothing happened. But now, for Ramses to get in there to attack the mummy, he also has to cross through that wall of fire, so... I have a crossbow! Okay, shoot into it then. That's all you guys can really do at this point. But there's also, don't forget, there's also, like, a giant man made of sand in the room as well. I'll attack that then. Jacques, did you do something yet? I noticed Holy something there. Oh, I Jacques. Jacques, did you do something? Or did you just run away? This is arrow. Oh, that's right. So it's now to these two dudes. Uh, the mummy from inside here will do nothing, and the Sandman will do something, though. That's the mummy still is not going to move. I didn't know to run away. I strategically relocated. Got it. And Strategic and relocation. Alright, so he is going to try and slam one of you guys. Let's go for... Uh, let's... I'm going to do Ramses, even though it's probably not going to hit. Uh, where's my BAB? Probably going to hit. No, it's only a 22. Nope. Nope. So, yeah. It misses you. And then it's back to my second half crew. Am I get an attack of opportunity on it and try to slam me? No. It's like, unless you wanted to get an attack of opportunity every time you try to hit it. Uh, Do you want an attack of opportunity every time uh, we swing? No. That's not how the game works. Uh, it starts this turn, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright. Um, so I have my emulation shirt on. Can I uh, use one of its abilities as a swift action and still have my... Or, like, maybe I can use that as my spare uh, standard action. That's fine. To I got a fire shield for 10 rounds that I can use once a day, recharge with one mythic point, and I can just exploit myself for 1d8. Um, I want to use the uh, fire shield. Okay. So I said that puts, like, a little... surrounds me with fire a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah. Around, or is it, like, a little wall in front of me? I'm like, I can't remember which one it is. I think it's, like, a circle around. You have to double-check, too, but... Okay. Well, I'm going to move up close to the burning mummy, and I'm going to drop a mythic uh, burning hands against him, just like right through his little fire surroundings. It's got a cone burst uh, effect, so it should be able to move through the other fire, I'm hoping. And he gets a reflex save, to, and that's 5d6 coming at him. I got a 13 reflex, which is a fail, I'm sure. I'm giving that extra. Every time it's fire, I do a little extra. Now, Broderick? Yeah. Alright. Broderick, uh, he's, he's a zombie. He doesn't want to get too close to the fire. He's gonna probably just sit back and fire right Fire bad! <laughs> he's gonna try to, you know, stick by Cersei just in case. I guess he could run up to the sand goal. He might as well do that. Yeah, I'll give him a Alright, yeah. I'll, he'll, he'll run up on sand goal and uh, give him a piece of his mind. We have any water uh, It's only an 11 for the first attack. Yes. And ugh, ah, 14 for the second attack. Miss. 13 for the second attack. Miss. Okay, well, that's all he's got. Now right. to Oz. Uh, uh, what's going on? Zombie is the zombies surrounded, surrounded by fire. And, by fire. Uh, and there's a sand golem in the room that is attacking me. Alright, where am I? Uh, you would be on the outside of the wall of fire, I'm guessing, around the spellcasters that are kind of back a little bit. Alright, um, uh, he's big sand golem is the summon, right? Yes. yes. I, really, I, I uh, can shoot an arrow at the mummy or It's my dex but it's only a point, even if I roll with the fucking The golem's pretty bad. 18, I'm That's what I was thinking, but it's a summon from the thing. Yeah, so it's not going to go against his master. Yeah, probably. That's, That's why I was thinking. Okay, how about this? I'm gonna do it simple. Uh, I pull out my uh, longbow and knock it out and shoot at the uh, wizard dude. Yeah. You mean Kelnar Trithurian? Yeah. You know, it's not dead. <laughs> oh, well, that's a great. I, I rolled a natural two plus a seven. So that's Miss. 
Brian, can I do a perception check of the room? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's an actual one. I don't see anything. Uh, lots of stones. Uh, well, I'm going to attack the uh, sand golem. Okay. I'm going to attack it with my long sword. Uh, that is going to be a 28. That's a hit. First hit. And second. That is going to be a 22 on the second hit. Also hit. Alright, and uh, since this is my uh, temple, temple long sword, I'm going to do the CMB to trip. Can I go ahead and do that now and then roll the damage? No, you got to roll the... Uh, yeah, well, I'll just do the damage first, then the trip. It's fine. Okay. So that's 15 on the first hit. And 14 on the second hit. All right. And then I'm going to roll the C and B to trip. All right. And that's only going to be an 18. All right, you trip him and he uh, explodes into a puff of sand. You've gotten rid of the Sandman. Yay! Do I get any experience for that or are we going to allocate that at the end of the battle? I'll do it at the end of the battle. Uh, Unless you want it all for yourself, Rance. Do you want all the experiences for you? Come on. Hey! Hey! Hey, can I get get that for me? Can I get... Yeah, we'll do the anyway. So is there so it's a wizard and a mummy that are in the room now? No, it's just a mummy. The mummy is the wizard. It's a wizard mummy. It's like Mumra from the Thundercats. That was from Thundercats, right? I mean they called him a wizard, but he was more of like <laughs> Our barbarian warlord that had access to a lot of magical power through the crystal, really. So he's just a very strong barbarian. Okay. Mainly the question was whether there were two people in the room, not really. There's only one left now. You destroyed the Sandman. Mummy. Okay. Well, um, so he's still surrounded by a ring of fire, so if I try to walk through that, I will get hurt. Yes. Yes. Unless you have fire resistance, like Cersei does. No. I guess I'm just going to do a flaming sphere then. I got a reflex save again for that, right? Yeah. I only got a 13, which I think is still a hit for you, so. What'd you get? A 13, which is lower than your spell casting junk. I'm pretty sure 10 plus the level of the spell plus your modifier. Should be more than 13. Yeah, it is. All right. Then this Um, is successful. Two. Nope, not played. Yeah. 3d6, okay. 3, 4, oh, 6. 6 damage? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what that was, but... <laughs> back to Pleak? Yeah, back to me. No, it's Genevieve's turn. Oh, was Genevieve doing something? Yeah, we'll do it. What are we waiting for then? Do it. She's gonna try to grab that is stuff again and pull it. Okay, she's gonna fly through the wall of fire and try to grab at the mummy that's on fire. How can she go through a wall of fire? She's a bird. She comes down from the top bit. I mean, this is a small room with a ceiling. The wall of flame is all the way around the mummy, touching the ceiling. So for her to get to the mummy right now, she's gonna have to fly through this wall of flame. Are you doing this? No, of course not. That's crazy. Move on, please. All right, please. Alright, uh, so at the start of my turn, the mummy takes 2d4 times 2 damage, double damage. So that's a 5, so 10. ten. Damage. Uh, I'm real impressed with myself. You did a good job. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm gonna shoot a blow dart at it, deal 1 damage, I think I'm done. That's gonna, just gonna off. chill out. Just gonna, gonna chill, chill there and do just, nothing. Just let my wall. Just gonna like watch the fire. Just like warm your hands <laughs> yeah, up. Just let my wall do its thing. Uh, well, that's your turn then. Can I take the remainder of the oil that I have? Throw it. Into so the, the whole flask. Yeah, the whole flask. Just throw it into the so it makes a puddle around it. Yeah, I'll let you roll a d10 and do that much damage. It's automatically. I'll assume you can throw a thing five feet and not even make you roll it. It's okay, oil. Night on fire. Further. Well, it's going to make the wall of fire bigger, so it would be harder to get close to him now, because now there's, the fire will spread more, how much the oil spreads. I don't think anyone want to get close to him. No, I, I doubt it. 
uh, my emulation shirt. It's safe, so, yeah. Can I add some like, no. no. It's just an oil. It's just oil blowing up. What do you want to add to it? Six. Just an Six? Okay. Next. And then I'm going to move. Okay. Where do you move to? I'm going to move back. All right. Back towards the exit. Got it. That guy's out of the way. Yeah, well, there's only one now. Uh, he decides to try and make it through the flames, which he does and takes how much damage? Oh, times two. Yeah. Oh, Actively burning. Yeah, he's uh, he's on fire and he comes walking out of the flame and he tries to grab at Ramses again because he's the closest. But I'm not gonna roll high enough. I don't. Um, and misses. So it's back to you guys. All right, my turn. Yes, whoever comes after the mummy. All right, I'm gonna walk up to him. I'm gonna lay my hands on him and I'm gonna go right through his little fire shield and I'll take the two d6. Damage, is that correct? Yeah, but you blocked 20 of it though, right? I have 20 resistance. So you're so fine. It's not going to equal more than 20. Lay my, my fire shield covered hand on his body. He and cast burning hands. Like serious. Ooh, serious. All right. But it's going to be mythic. All right, roll so it. It becomes 88 plus 2 per cast level. And I would like to argue that I could also get the 1d6 plus 1 per cast level for the touch of the fire. I'll allow it, but, but I would also like to argue it's a touch attack and you have to roll it. So roll plus BAB no, for the touch. No, the touch, but his touch AC is lower than his normal AC. It says will save is um half. Okay. Well, that might you might be right. I mean, it's a touch spell, so it's a touch attack. Yeah, but, you, but like I said, the touch AC is usually way lower than the normal AC. I'll tell you what. I'll even tell you what it is if you want to know. Uh, you only have to beat his touch well, AC. Yeah, um, I, f I failed the will. I'm gonna take all the damage, but the you still have to succeed in the attack. My touch AC is only 10, so it should beat 10 for an attack. Alright, then I will do that plus my PA. Alright, yeah, that's 14. That's enough, so yeah, that is successful. Roll your damage. Alright, so that's gonna be 8d8. 8d8? Um, you, yeah, you guys are about to kill a mummy. It's, it's mythic, so. I mean, I'll roll it. To, uh, Let me know how much damage it does. Plus, uh. All right, let me know when it goes above 13 and he'll be unconscious and you can just coup de grace. Above 13? Yeah. So you do more than 13 seven. damage. That's one. Six. That makes 10. That makes 14 damage. And that was only my fourth of my 88s, not including my plus two for cash. So I just want to. All right, it's unconscious. You could scoot a growl this moment after that. It's yeah. soul released from its body. It'll wail in pain. You each get 500 experience points. 500 experience? Yeah. And I'm gonna. That's only because there's like eight of. It's only because there's like eight of you guys. You got way more experience points. But you're splitting it like a shit ton of ways right now. I'm gonna pay the Urgapoa and uh, use the rest of my burn uh, to inflict my wounds to just completely just like burn his ass up. Return to your Alright, she accepts the soul. Uh, can I get his hand? Well, I mean, yeah, you can. I mean, anything that Cersei doesn't destroy, right. you can keep. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, you guys can have like a group prayer meeting over this mummy. Oh. And uh, secondly, uh, I leveled up because I got an next monster defeated. You level up out of the deck after. Yeah, so you just defeat the monster. So you level up. All right, and in your prayers, in your prayers to Urgothoa, um, you are are told that this mummy was kept alive by stronger than normal means. That through the magic of the crystal, this mummy was able to live a lot longer than it should have. Uh, not unlike Froderick or Vortiga once did. Um, this this mummy was kept alive through a similar type of magic. So Urgothoa has accepted this soul. Has been waiting. A, has been waiting a long time to collect on this soul. Basically. I'm a soul for Urgothoa. No. Can we all high five? Yeah. High five. Jump in the air, high five, and then freeze midair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm like flash. Hanging down. Hanging down, slapping fives from the ceiling. Can we roll perception checks for some loot? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
crystals in the room. Uh, uh, you don't see the crystal. You only see this. What large looks like large square sarcophagus in the middle of the room, and a bunch of sand. This dead mummy body. There are some gems inlaid in the walls. Probably about 400 gems in the walls. If you guys want to take time to remove them, but it would probably take a couple hours to remove all the gems and stuff like that. All right. I'll do. I'll pop some gems. There are there are 200 that you guys can split however you like of these normal gems and you can sell in the market. Probably worth about 100. Probably worth 150 gold each. You'll probably get 100 gold each for them, just because that's the way the market goes. Um, unless you have a really good diplomacy or really good prey. Or... So yeah, 200 that you guys can divide among your however many people there are, however you like to divide them. I think it's eight of us? If you include Froderick and Kid, I think. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. I, yeah, I, I don't seven, think Froderick has a need for many blood yeah, possessions, yeah. so eight. Yeah, um, fuck Kid. Yeah, yeah. so like, oh, it's just get people from the floor and take that, so we'll take it down yeah. to six. Six people. So All right. Six ways for yeah. Two, 200 by, divided by six? Uh, it's it's like 30 happen. something like, each, 33. <laughs> It's like 33 right, gems, then you guys can leave a couple behind. Just take 33 each, leave a couple behind. Yeah, that's that's fine. Give Kit one. Give Kit one. That's very fair. Uh, um, one gem for Kit. Because he's got scared the whole time anyway. Be afraid of any description on the wall or any indication about the crystal? Uh, roll me a perception check. It's like crystal this way. Uh, uh, I got an 11. On top of the sarcophagus, it reads. If you're reading this, I'm already dead. Crystal inside. Uh, to the sarcophagus. Hold up. All right, you touch the sarcophagus. Uh, I need you to do a reflex save. Okay. What's that sarcophagus? I got a twenty. All right, you take half damage on sixty-six electricity. Uh, can I search it to do the full reflex? Yeah. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. I got six. That's not a high reflex save to... Oh, well, the, you got a six to add to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, then, yeah, you're out of it. You're fine. You you, you, get, you get shocked with the lightning just, like, jolts through your armor and shoots out around you, but doesn't shock you. You are well grounded, I guess. Okay. We're so, yeah, grounded. the sarcophagus lets off a, a big electric shock, and you let go of it, and you realize if you touch it again, it's probably just going to do it again. It seems similar uh, to the magic that was on the door. All right, knowledge art. Anna, uh, uh, so we have some issue here, but I want to still be remaining by... Oh, natural 20 plus 60. Yeah, this seems exactly the same as the door out, so outside. If you dispel magic, then the magic will not be working anymore, and then you can get inside, as long as you can lift the stone. The stone seems pretty heavy, but... Well, do I have to... What if we didn't dispel it, and we just, uh, I levitated the... Top of the sarcophagus off. That'd be fine too, as long as no one touches it. It seems like it's just the lid that's electrified. Also, summon an unseen servant to help lift it off. Okay, between levitation and unseen servant, I'm sure between the two of them, it's enough to like hold it up for you guys to look down inside yeah. the box. But before we before we do this, do we need to have a conversation about what we're gonna do with this crystal? Like, I've got a means here to you know, I, I've got a, a, a goal. I think we all have a goal. Do you still get mythic? If more than one person touches the crystal. Uh, yes. Remember the crystal on Reyes? More than one person touched yeah. that. All of them went mythic. So. But not at, what about at the same time? That's all, yes. All well they will all go mythic at the same time. But they will all yeah. they will all they will all share control of the crystal when they touch it. So then you're you're splitting yeah, the power. But, be, but everyone goes mythic that touches us, it. Between the six of us, I think we can handle this. And then go on our separate ways on all other crystal quests potentially. I mean, okay, Oscar's upset. He wants it for himself. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not controlling what happens. You guys are lifting the lid and touching it. I don't care. That's not up to me. That's up to you guys. How far off? The, how far is the lid? Are you, are you levitating the lid yet? Is that happening live? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Like, All right. I'm not, not going to let people into this thing until we decide what we're going right. to do. All right. So nothing's know, happening. You guys are just discussing what's going to happen. Better idea. We're not going to be able to get into it without me. Uh, I would also like to tell you. I've got my sister yeah. and I've got something. In okay, then you can go right ahead. Democratic form. Uh, you guys learned a whole lot whenever you were doing politics, I, I guess. And putting my vote towards the two options of either us touches it or we all touch it. Yes. Well, let's go into options. But everyone wants to offer himself and everyone else. Well, I just want to make sure in the whole group that is the only two options that no one else has a different plan. Is it so terrible that we all become mythic? Can we cast us? Actually. Can we cast, can I cast Zone of Truth in our area? 
Uh, yeah, you can cast Zone of Truth in the area. It's just a small room. You can cast Zone of Truth in the room while you guys are discussing. All right, does everyone get a save for that? Isn't there like a save to resist? I believe the will say. Wait, what's going on? I'm casting Zone of Truth so we can't lie about our. Um, are Moses. we going to go around in a circle and say what we have to yeah, really do? Yeah, because this is important. Everyone can find out about Bleak. Classic Ramsey's move. We're going to be talking about this all the while when we're like chipping gems out of walls and stuff like that. Yeah, you got, you got hours to kill before you open the box. You guys are like, what's in the box? Fine, what's I'm going to get stressed out and take a nap then. Recharge. We'll we're going to be here for an hour. I take a nap. All right, Pleak takes a nap after taking some gems. Are you guys discuss? Yeah, what, so we'll, we'll save? Tell yeah. the truth anyway. I have nothing to lie about. Well, that's what I'm yeah, saying. That's, I'm just saying. that's a 22. Yeah, 22. That's all I want. I got 19 and I'm going to say shit. Is there, is there anything wrong with wanting everyone to be on the level? I don't want to be on the level. Do you have to be on the level? 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 Do yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, Pleak, did you? I rolled Pleak a 22. Rolled 22, so he doesn't have to tell the truth. But no uh, one knows that. Why the fuck is everyone always getting up on me, man? I, I put the mummy in a wall of fire. He I did, helped out. He did put the mummy in a wall of fire. You know what it is. Alright, I also have an alternate plan before we touch this thing. I am willing to, if we could also get uh, my little pet Cooter to touch it, we can leave her, hear her in the garden. And I'll let her know, you're, like, you're, you know, Scourge? It, it, yeah, my, my uh, half dragon, half topless. His Voovra. Oh, yeah, I'll be down with that. Yeah, my Voovra. I think that'd be cool. She, she's meant to guard stuff. That's what, that's what the, the, the her mother told her when she gave me the app. Yeah, yeah. So we could guard this crystal would need to. That, should, that would be her. The only thing that you would need to do for her was, uh, create some sort of pool, and she needs water to survive in, so there's not enough, I mean, besides that pot of a little bit of water, she's going to get too big for that. So if you well, can make it wet down here for her, you can do that. As long as you can create enough water for her to live in. Digs, like, can right, but someone listen. transform the sand to water for her? Or I don't something know. Like that? I don't know what can happen until yeah. it happens, but we're not but there yet. Know. You so guys haven't done, the, you haven't done the first part of this yet to get to the second part. We're already discussing the second part of this, so do the first part first, and then we'll talk about the second part. So we, we all touch we're all crystal. touching the crystal, right? All right, yeah. Cersei, you agree to levitate the, the rock and let everyone touch the crystal? I'm not letting them. They had other ways to do it. I just wanted to make it. I just wanted us to talk it out. Like All I don't right. want to seem like I'm a bad guy here. I'm just trying to, you know, make no. sure everyone gets a little something out of this besides 500 experience. You yeah, know? and and in all reality, I mean, you guys were charged with protecting the crystal from harm, from letting people that shouldn't touch it touch it. So, I mean, that's why I'm asking you. But everyone touches the crystal. Yeah, let's all touch the yeah. crystal at once. Crystal time. All touchy, right. Touchy. Everybody touches the crystal, everyone goes mythic. Everyone uh, gains some portion of power over this island while they're touching the crystal. If you're already mythic, nothing if you are already mythic, nothing happens to you. You don't gain a mythic level. You stay the same. This is not a way to gain I told you that before, crystals are not a way to gain levels for mythic. They're only a way to ascend to mythicism, and they're ways to have control over an area. So now if you're mythic and you're touching this crystal, you have control over this area. Although you're sharing it with seven other people or whatever, so so this is technically. If you're already problem. mythic, you do not gain another level. If you are not mythic, right. you go mythic. Uh, I still have to kill a dragon. Or something else that. mythic, or do some kind of mythic feat. Yes, something you have to do something mythic to get a second mythic level. <laughs> Only mythic level one is attainable by the crystals. What the fuck are we doing now? I don't know. Uh, we should probably burn the book to show people how to get to this place, so that no one else besides us knows. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's try to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. We need to make a bunch of water for the dragon lady, right? Yeah. Liz, do you have any spell that you can make? Uh, the water. Liz, I'm making the sand. Yeah. Yeah. We can leave Cooter back here. Yeah, that's a good idea. What do you do? How do you do it? I can make water. Um. How much? But I. I'm I'm looking. Chill. I don't think it's enough. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, I can only create two gallons. <laughs> Alright, so it's like 10 gallons for level. So. 10 gallons? 10 gallons is not enough water to, to house this thing but, when it grows. Yeah, we're gonna have to open it. Okay. What's that? 40 gallons is what? 
40 gallons is the amount of water, but not enough to house this thing for the rest of its life. Besides, the floor of this cave is made of sand, and as soon as you cast water, it's going to seep down into the sand, like water does. Yeah. We're not, we're not going to leave her here. We're going to peace out of here, but it's up to Tom whether or not we destroy this book. So, um, well, I've got a stone shape, so I could make uh, so stone shape. I could make it a thing to hold all the water. How long does that last for? 30? <laughs> I think uh, it's just yeah, stone, stone shape is permanent. You can just reshape anything to fit your need forever. Make her a, a pool. So you can take the sarcophagus door and turn it into a pool. Shape into a big bowl for her to live in? Yeah, try that. Water. I think uh, Osk has uh, create water as an horizon, and then because he's an oracle, he can cast like an infinite number of horizons. So as long as you had Oth hang out over that bowl for a bunch of hours and squirt water out of his hands or whatever. Yeah, I can catch this in a ride. Oh, okay. yeah. Do you guys want to be right here to protect it? I think that's, I'd say that's the best. I think it'd be... I was down the road and we'll come in the water. So I think that's a very good option. Alright, let's do it. I'll, 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 I'll be clear behind. I'll be like, hey, be a good girl. You protect it from anybody who comes here that's not you know, one of us. She you know, says, Mama! Mama! Uh, well, no, because out of game, in the storyline, everything, like, if you, every action is going to lead to a, you know, further down the road reaction from the order. So by filtering this, you can get a half track yes. and grow. What kind of um, companion does Cooter like? Doesn't she like... She talk? likes snakes and uh, things like that that she can talk to. Uh, yeah. Snakes and things like that. Yeah, snakes, really? dragons, scaly things. Yeah, like more like scaly uh, things. Yeah, they're, 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 they're they like to eat people. Features, yeah, they're pretty solitary. They, they, they're solitary when it comes to other to other people. They don't mind having snakes and things like that around, like animals. Uh, but otherwise, it likes to live alone. Uh, the snakes wouldn't be a bad idea though, because it could keep her company, and then would also be snacks for her to keep her keep alive until another human wanders in here. Because until another human wanders in here, she has nothing to eat. Like yeah. She's basically waiting on someone else to walk in here. Because, like, um... Uh, let's see here. Or also, because, like, the... I can summon swarm. Can I just summon, like, a bunch of swarms of rats? And keep you to start... They can be breeding, like, constantly, and she can keep eating them. Yeah, you can have, like, rats live in these tunnels as well. I'll allow it. Rats yeah. supply of food. That's what she'll feed on. And since it's a summon hey, swarm, that if anybody comes in, yeah. it, like, attacks them. Possibly, but they'll probably all be eaten by that time, so who knows? I mean, yes, but... There's also an undead minotaur still wandering the maze, too. Yeah. All this stuff's still happening. You're not so. the rats, you don't need to. Yeah. And you already have one, well, like, just the other card, like, spell cast. Yeah, no, he, yeah, yeah, he, he's still probably under my control for a certain number of, uh, days, I think. And then he's still under past six days. But he's not gonna fall apart. But not, he's under my command, I can, I can tell him. Well, he's still days. undead, so he's gonna fall apart over a period of time. This is, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Discuss it and touch the crystal. And now you're all power. You've touched the crystal. And you're like, whoa, we're crazy powerful now. We all felt this great surge of power. And now you've left this voo behind, shaped a bowl, filled it with water. How long did that take? Uh, well, for us to fill this bowl with water, it's actually probably going to take several hours. It's probably like four or five hours while Austin filling this bowl with water. I mean, unless you guys are like leaving the room. I'd like to use sleight of hand to lay down my little teleporter next to the crystal. Right. While Roll me a sleight of hand check. doing that thing. Uh, perception checks. All right. Right, man. All right, right. Good luck. I got a natural twenty. Oh, I got a twenty-one. So better than I got a twenty-one as well. Natural. But I got a natural. Yeah, the natural 20. twenty. No one notices except Juan so far. Oh, yeah, yeah I would say so far. Yeah, all right. So I have a natural 19, but unless I'm rolling it. That's not enough. Yeah. 
So Juwan's the only one that notices Pleak pulling something out of her bag and laying it on the ground. She can say something or not. That's up to that's up to Juwan. Hey, what is that thing? Uh, so yeah, what, they all look. I mean, uh, that's I don't know. That's up to them. You guys can roll a perception check to see if you hear Juwan say, "Hey, what's that thing?" Another perception check. If what you want to like? see if you hear Juwan say that, yeah. Ryan, I got another natural nineteen. That's twenty-one. What did you say, Juwan? That's what, enough to hear Juwan. Juwan. Pleak has just now laid down a silver ring on the ground with etchings on it and crystals. Whoa, what's that es- etching say? That's really pretty. Is that a necklace? Why are you laying that thing on the ground? Can I touch it? Uh, sure, if you want. What is it? Uh, is it a it's... necklace now? No, it's not a necklace. Are you putting it on the ground? Uh, uh no. It's a platform. Yeah, no. I got a no, uh, can I grab it and just go? Like, once he sees me, can I just grab it and go? How long is that going to uh, take me? So, yeah, you have enough time for everyone to turn around. If you touch it, you're near enough to the crystal. Do you touch yeah, the crystal? I mean, I touched it, so I'm right next All to right, the crystal. All right, do you, now, you use so. a mythic point to lift it? Yeah. We are, no, we will. This, this is one round. This is one round. Listen, he's getting one round, and you guys can have a round. It's one I'm round. I'm trying to figure out how, what it, what, how the rounds are breaking up right now. That's you get one move, one move, once, just like attack, just like a normal battle. You get one standard, one move. All right. So your move would be grabbing the crystal, and what's your standard, which would be using the magic power. So what's your first standard move when you touch the crystal? Uh, well, I'd pull it to the, to the All right. teleporter. You use one mythic point to be strong enough to lift it, because it's really big. So use one mythic, one of your five mythic points to be strong enough to lift okay. it. So you, you guys see Pleak lifting the crystal out of the sarcophagus. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's your turn now. Hold, just wait a minute. No, wait, okay. Stop. Sudden attack, mythic point, sudden attack on Pleak. Yeah. Roll hey, it. Well, let's just go back in that timeline. This doesn't make any sense. So okay. we had enough time for him to see him throw down this thing and say, "What is that?" And then all of a sudden, now we're back in time and he's picking the crystal. What doesn't make this, any sense? This is no. This is, this is see, right. That's what, what happened? What, that's why I'm asking it about how I wanted to set down the thing sneakily, grab the crystal, and go please, before anyone noticed. Please One please person noticed me putting it down. She called your attention. That gave Pleak time to put it down, grab the crystal. That's all. Pleak sons grab the crystal. So now it's once I grab now it, it's I can't your move, turn. I can't move with the crystal after grabbing it because you already moved to the crystal to use the power. You can move over to the teleporter. You're in that same area. You, you're on the teleporter with the crystal, but your turn's over. You can't activate the teleporter until your next turn. I'm using. I'm going to use sudden attack. All right. And that is as a swift action. I'm going to attack the thing that I touched. up Pleak into bits just now. Okay, whatever. We were touching the crystal so he'll come back as a zombie. But... Well, I mean, my question is, how is he hitting me if I'm holding this giant crystal? Is he swinging at my back or is he swinging at the crystal? Which is... I'm swinging which, at his back! Which it would be theoretically blocking my entire front because I need a mythic sure. point just to hold this giant. Yeah, it's pretty big. So... He says he's hitting you from the back. And it's a small room, so I'll allow it if he runs up on you. He's got six seconds, or, I, you know... Six seconds per round. So the well, six, I have the six seconds. I move 150 feet per round. How could I not have gotten to the crystal, gotten back to the teleporter, and like, like you know, I'm just because you, you I'm can, wondering how this all you breaks can down. that far, but you did not need to move that far because it's a very small room. But you, either way, a round is six seconds, no matter how far you move in that round. And you had six seconds to move the crystal, pick up the crystal, move back to your where you're going. Okay. Okay. You can't do another. You'd have to activate the teleporter to do anything else, and that would be another standard, and you're already out of standards for your turn. You're only allowed one move action per turn, regardless of how little or how much it is. Hey, I haven't heard a goddamn fry check yet. Dude, all right, I'll, I'll I can roll a natural one and it'll still play out. Ride, you got really high, you ride. My ride is plus sixteen with my spider. I have seventy-five percent chance of staying in my saddle during combat, and I rolled a nine. So, so yeah. I fucking rode all day long, back and forth, one-handed, <laughs> with a broken spider leg. I mean, fuck off. 
I just, you know, I don't understand how the timing works. Half the time it's like very specific, and half the time it's like. In combat, it's very specific. And this is considered That's combat. A 26 on the first attack roll with sudden attack. And I'm gonna roll my second attack roll. And that is going to be a, a 27 on the second one. And I think those are both hits for Pleak. I think his AC is a 20 right now. Okay. And it's the well, total solution with Dexter's AC holding a giant rock, right? I mean, either way, they're hits. Doesn't matter. They're hits. They don't make it any worse. And. It's already hits. I'm going to give him minus two to something that already hits. Pointless. Okay. So, my first attack, I get still with the vital strike. And I'm going to add a mythic display of strength, which is a plus 10 modifier, so that's another plus 5. Man, you're just trying to fuck some five. shit up right now, Ramses. Go for it. So that's point you're just trying to chop your head off, I think. Yeah, well, he does. Oh I'm God. weak as fuck. If I get hit, I die. And then I get the 2d6 because of my ulti tied to my weapon, and this is the first attack. Oh, and he's just evil, right? You get a bonus for him. That's what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah, that's what he's talking about right now. Yeah. So I get an extra 2d6 points of damage, so I'll roll that at the end. So for the first two, that's going to be 7 plus 11. 4, that's 11 plus my... Plus 11. Plus 11, so that's 22 on the first hit. Damn. Why are you so and strong, Ramses? The second one, I will also exert my third mythic point on display of strength for another plus 10. So that would be another uh, plus 11 strength modifier. So that's what? 39. Yeah. And then I get my 2 Oh, you come back. Oh, no. Seven. So 39 plus 7. Of course, we don't know so how my mythic level up not. has affected yeah. any of the my modifiers, so like it doesn't deal. change my AC or my No, it won't change your AC. It will change how long you live, how how hard it is to kill you, though. So it will be it hard to change my health. Uh, you do uh, get, I think, five yeah. hit points whenever you go mythic. Five extra. Five bonus. All right. So well, how much damage is that total? How much, can I ask how much damage that was, so we even, we even need if it's, even know if it's necessary? How much? 46. 46? Still alive? Okay, please still alive, but pretty bloody. I'm an unseen servant. I'm just kill the portal. Uh, yeah. And I'll say stop, drop the crystal. I mean, he's standing on the portal, so you can't take the portal from underneath him. You can't take the- he's standing on the portal. You can't, like, pull it out from under his feet. How far away was- I thought I was standing right next to the crystal when I set the portal down. I thought I was picking it up and- He was. I mean, I was- I didn't realize I set the portal down on one end of the room, walked to the crystal, picked it up, you did walk back. I was standing right there. I mean, I can pick up this glass without walking across the room. That's what I thought I was doing. That is what you were doing. But apparently it wasn't what I was doing. It doesn't matter. What? CMB to trip? Yeah, sure. Harry? Yeah, Harry. It'll be Harry. Yeah, that's going to be Harry. 15 on my CMD versus CMD. Yeah, my CMD is more than that. So you're fine. Is, my CMD yeah. is 26. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. It does not trip the spider. I don't even All have right, to roll. Can I go? I'm going to do a mythic uh, phantasmal killer on Harriet. Okay. She gets what? A will save? She gets a will save and then a fortitude save. All right, roll a will save for Harriet and then a fortitude save. Uh, 21. 21 oh, will. Hey, 21. It's, uh, I think uh, I'm at 20. Yeah, I'm 21. So that's a save on the will. Fortitude is a 9. A 9 what's on what's the fortitude. But well, I think that one doesn't matter if you pass the first one. I think that one only matters if you fail the first one. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's different for the... You have to fail the will save to believe that it's real, and you fail the fortitude save if you believe it's real to die from seeing it. But you succeeded the first save, so you're fine. After right, Cersei. Well, Anyone else trying to fuck with Pleak? Are you guys gonna like try to talk it out or just just murder this motherfucker? Let's see here. I guess to do that too. I mean, speaking's a quick action. You can also speak. It's a quick action. Saying words isn't possible during your turn. During everyone's quick action turns, I'll say, "Eat my dick, eat my dick, eat my dick." Pleak says, "Eat my dick" a lot. Jock and Austin. Holy shit! Angela. 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 I thought Oz did something. No, Oz didn't do anything. Okay, let's do what I wanted to do. What do you want to do, Oz? I'm gonna look at Oz and be like, <laughs> Holy shit! 
Uh, are you visible again? I assume you're visible again. Uh, well, we can't let him take that. Okay. I, uh, go invisible again. Alright, take your d4 damage. Part of the rig, Scott. You you wear the damn thing. You put it on. You take the damage. That's the rules. I will. I had to buy one. Uh, I take two damage. Uh, I'm gonna lose a sleep arrow. And, uh, All right. Roll versus Pleak's AC. You Twenty-five. Will save. Uh, yeah, I think that beats his AC. Roll a will save there, Pleak. Fifteen. Uh, which is higher than the sleep arrow save, so you do not fall asleep. You still take the damage from the arrow, so whatever damage a normal arrow does. Plus okay. one. Sleep arrows are plus one, so. You got that as a sneak attack of me being invisible? No, Pleak knows he's being attacked at this point. It's not like he's okay. a You didn't surprise him or anything. I think at this point he knows you guys are trying to attack so him. How much or her. Damage do I take from the arrow? Nine. Nine? Yeah, and then I'm gonna move. Alright. And you move. Awesome. I shot What's your constitution? Total? Yeah. You don't die until you're negative 28. Sir, but I'm at zero. I'm not gonna die anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Alright, so you're at negative 28. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Alright, you're at negative 28. What races? Leaks a gnome? CMB versus Harriet, because Harriet's the one carrying her, so. To beat Harriet's oh, CMD. Leak always rides Harriet, so you have to beat Harriet's CMD to knock her off the teleporter. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. Can I do something before Oscar's then? Yeah, there's no established <laughs> order at this point in time, so if you want to, you can. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna charm Harriet and make her walk away from the. Alright, Harriet gets board. a will save, I believe, on charm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Harriet seems enticed by Juwan and starts uh, wandering off the portal. You can either dismount or ride her over. Yeah, I'll dismount. All right, Pleak dismounts and rolls onto the the portal off of Pleak or off of the Harriet. Wait, how does he get to move? When He's just dismounting. It's not a move. He's just getting off. Oh, the the, the spider is moving. You didn't do a spell. You didn't do a spell to Pleak. You did a spell to the spider. Spider move. I'm letting Pleak have a you know reaction to that. It's normal. What would happen? Crystal falls on him. Yeah. He's carrying him. He still uses the mythic power to be strong enough to carry it, so. I guess, uh, since the spider now is gone, I'm going to kill the spider. No, no, no. Alright. Um, I'm going to go into a frenzy, and then. Uh, ah! 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 Against him. Roll it. Alright, so that's gonna be. I get a plus two for charge, so it's gonna be 16 plus two plus my plus another uh, seven, so that's gonna be 25 to hit. Yeah, yeah. So that's 25. Yeah, it's a hit. Okay. Roll your damage. Which is not gonna be much. Okay, I'll search for damage then. All right, so Could have had a nice discussion about what was going on first. <laughs> no, you can't just pick up the fucking crystal. That's what we all just talked about. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm 23 on a second attack. Okay. I think that's a all hit. Right. 21, I think. Yeah, 21's my AC, so anything above 21. Alright, I'm going to search that one. So that's 5. Five, six, so ten, so sixteen. Well, no, first it was ten, then it was six. That's a ten. That's so like twenty-six total. total. Well, it doesn't right. matter. I'm at negative one. I'm already unconscious. Pleak's already so unconscious. You, can you can keep, off. you can keep beating Pleak to death if you want. You keep Pleak alive. 
You just knock Pleek out and keep Pleek alive? Yes. All right, you don't kill Pleek. We don't want to kill him. We just don't want to take the crystal away. We don't want to kill somebody if we don't have to. The law of our Lord is It's true. It's all about, and, and because you're Ramses, it's all about redemption. Even if you don't like Pleek, you would give Pleek the chance to redeem herself. So, I'm going to bind Pleek, and I'm going to cast Lesser Restoration on, uh, no, I was going to stabilize, don't restore him. What I think we need to do, I was going to go for one. No, don't bring him up, let's not wake him up yet, we should have a vote. Stabilize to zero at least, stabilize, tie up. Raise two hands, one for Juwan, one for Kit. Alright, okay. so that's four versus... Does Genevieve get a vote? No. Do Animals don't vote. vote. No, alright. Yeah, it's almost, I'm almost against, unanimous. I'm against killing him. I think that he should be uh, watched over. Okay, okay, before... I'm just gonna piss on him. No, 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 no. alright. No. It's a her, just to be clear, it is a lady. I think... Uh, I think we should try to make her... While, while she's unconscious, I think we should bind her. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Her, but do you guys have rope, I assume? Who's got the rope? Yeah. Who's doing the binding? I need to know all that um, information. Yeah. We need to figure out what we want to do with Harriet. How are you binding, how are you binding Pleak? This charm only lasts like a minute or so, so pretty soon this charm will wear off and Harriet will want to defend Pleak again. Um, yeah. But yeah, how are you binding Pleak? Who's got the rope or whatever you are binding her with? I Is still on the ground underneath unconscious bleak. All right, Cersei, your tongue. All right, so we wrap them up, but let's take, we gotta take care of her. Are you guys gonna stabilize bleak before she bleeds out, or? I'm gonna take all. I stabilized it. Yeah. All right, so bleak stabilized. You're at zero hit points, but. Hey, Oliver, wait. But up. unconscious. But unconscious. At zero, but unconscious. Yeah, we should probably loot her too, but let's take care of Harry first. Well, hey, can I take her? Well, well, this is our sentence for him to chill the fuck out. No. Juwan's got her hand no. up. She will not let you kill a spider. But. No, we don't have Juwan's okay. video. All right. Well, someone, I can cast Char Monster on it. Isn't it an animal? It's not, not a monster. It's not a monster. It's not a monster. It's not a monster. It's not a monster. Juwan. Yeah. Juwan. Yeah. Yes, dear. While Juwan is unconscious, I'm going to cast Charm on it. Okay. And I'm going to say, Juwan, if you stay alive, you're gonna shrink her to a medium, so now she's smaller. She's not. She's still not the size of a normal spider. She's about the size of a house cat now, or a tiny dog. Can I put her in my bag of holding? Uh, you have to roll a C and B to grab her. Cersei killed her. Well, all her bags. Yeah, she's gonna kill her. Yeah, and then she's gonna kill Don't need to torture animals. Yeah, Fine. Juwan shrank it to the size of like a house cat or small dog. I think Jock is trying to wrangle it, but I don't know. He hasn't rolled yet, so. I did roll. But everyone was just talking over the What'd you roll? Uh, I rolled a 19 to grab it from my bag of holding. Uh, that's not enough to grab uh, the spider, so she escapes. She scurries up the wall. Now, now it makes me piss me off. Yeah. Now I want to kill it. Um, <laughs> are you sure you don't want to kill it, guys? Roger's going to be staying up there. The entire time keeping and ever watch it on the planet. Yeah, right. okay. Can I, uh, I, 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 I,
and a boomerang. Chain spear that right, doesn't no, work. I just and a chain spear. It's supposed to be mark. a ranged right, weapon. Cut his box. Uh, all right, so, what are, so now I have everything sharp and pointing. All right, so what do we want to do about Harriet? She's still scurrying around. Timing. I can do dominate animal. Okay, I want you to Can I dominate the spider now? <laughs> That's gross, but sure. In front of everyone? <laughs> yeah. Just roll it. No, uh, it, gets, um, it gets a will save or something, I think. Yeah. 10 plus 3 plus... Uh, Doesn't matter. Two. Nope. Yeah, she fails, so you are able to dominate Harriet. Tell Harriet right, what to do. Okay. But you're a druid, you're good with spiders. Got this under control. Let's roll some spellcrafts on this uh, piece of uh, plate that he laid down on the ground. I'm going to ask Brian, can I get Harriet to get into my bag instead of into Jacques? It's not a fucking bag-sized animal. She shrank it. Yeah, 24. Shrank. I'm just scared. There's a four foot spider. It's a four foot spider. You shrink it one size. It's two feet. Two feet yeah, it's two How foot. How big's the fucking bag? It is a two foot. It's like the size of a small dog. <laughs> I mean, it's I not gonna fit very well in your backpack. Are you gonna cut it in half or like? What? Are you gonna cut it in half? Cut the the what? Spider? I'll do it. Or the bags and sew them back together? Because it's too big to fit in one bag. It won't fit in your bag otherwise. It won't fit in your bag otherwise. Oh, you just have a sack? Oh, yeah, it won't fit in a sack. It won't fit in your backpack. It won't fit in a normal sack. Currently. Until it re How long until it re enlarges, though? I just don't trust you guys to not kill it. So I kind of want to keep it so that you don't kill it. We're not going to kill it. I got a 24 on the spellcraft of the plate. And I got a 15. All right, so with your assistance, you're able to determine that it's elven in origin, and it seems to be some sort of teleportation magic device. It would be similar if you guys have arrived in Westport at all. You guys have used the portal from Westport and to Neverkrooks. Raise your hand if you have. If you have, if you've used that teleporter, you will recognize this is a smaller version of one of those. All right, I'm going to suggest that we break it. Uh, yeah, I've got disabled device. I think we just need to sunder it. Hey, let's get this. I mean, it's a ring, so it would be, it would stand to to judge if you broke the ring. If the ring was broken, if the circle was broken, the teleporter portal will not work. Okay. I'll use a display of smash it. You guys are giving him a free teleportation spot. Oh, uh, we can just pick it up and keep it. I mean, it only works near ley lines, which you're near right now. But if you want to teleport, but if you want to teleport from here to somewhere else, it's an easy way to do that. But you don't know if there's a connection to his local person. Well, yeah. well you would know that the only places the teleporters have gone so far is Neverkirks and Westport, and this looks of similar origin, so it's probably connected to those two portals. Just pick it up and, and put it in someone's bag of holding. Or, how about this? I'll destroy the book if we can destroy this stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want the book to. Oh, oh, you mean the, the book to get to? Yeah. Get here. Oh, then I can give uh, Fleek one of the sleepy pills so he doesn't remember the last hour. Don't have no he won't even be mad happened. anymore. He'll forget why he was mad at you guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't want him to be mad. Not an hour. Yeah. Well, I don't know yet. Haven't you ever wanted to give a friend a pill that makes him forget the last hour? Well, don't. Just tune in next time for more. Long Distance Dungeons & Dragons Dinner Theater. Yeah.